Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Let's School. Although really it's a welcome back to Let's School, because we did play the demo of this a while ago, at the start of the year I think it was, and it was really really good, it was really enjoyable. So now we're back again with the fancy full version of the game, with all the latest bits and bobs thrown in. Now of course we're going to build a school, that's what the game is all about, the clue is in the name. So we zone out rooms, we add furniture, we hire the staff, we sort the lessons out, we do the upgrades, we do school managey things, everything you might expect to run a school, that's what we have to get up to. And hopefully, if everything goes to plan, which it probably won't do because this is the Geek Cupboard, but if a few things do sort of go vaguely in the right direction of the plan, then we might actually be able to educate some kids and also make a bit of cash along the way, which would be wonderful. So I think without any further ado, we just dive in and get on with it. Let's school. Okay, so to begin with, I think we go down the route of career mode. That'll let us sort of get used to the game and how it works and all that kind of stuff, because although I have played this, it was quite a long time ago and I've played many 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 games since then and I can't quite recall exactly what happens apart from we build schooly things so I think let's go down the route of career mode and then I think we get to pick a map so select a scene we've either got Sakura Valley so the climate is minus 15.3 up to 40.6 degrees C in temperature but apparently that's temperate according to that. Okay, I mean 40.6 degrees C seems quite warm to me. Minus 15.3 doesn't seem temperate. That seems quite chilly indeed. But okay, so Sakura Valley has got that temperature range and it's got eight nearby plots. Okay, and it looks okay. It's by river. That's quite nice. Okay, so what are the other options? Peony Springs has exactly the same climate by the look of it. Oh, and exactly the same kind of plots as well. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be that much in the way of difference. The only thing is, Peony Springs isn't near a river, and I quite like that. That looks quite pretty, I think. Yeah, let's go for that one. Let's go for Sakura Valley, because it's next to a river. That's the only reasoning behind that, because they do seem to be exactly the same. So, yeah, that one's got a lovely river. We'll go and set up a school over here, I think. Okay, we have a letter from the old headmaster, and I do remember this a little bit from when we played the demo. I think maybe the old headmaster might possibly be a cat in disguise. It's just a hunch, but I think looking at them there, they do have certain cat-like qualities, shall we say. They've got little catty ears, and they've got whiskers. They've got big, kind of cat-like whiskers. I mean, they do have human qualities as well. That's a very human-y nose, and they've got a little moustache, but I think they're like part of a disguise or something. They're like a clip-on nose and moustache combo that this cat has put on their face to keep up the pretense that they are a person. I think our old headmaster was a cat in a suit and a hat. I think that's the case, but okay, hello old headmaster, how are you? Hey, long time no see. I'm the headmaster of your old school. I know, I remember. By the time you read this, I will be retired and travelling the world. The school you loved is in a bad state. I tried my best, but my best wasn't good enough. I'm sure if you tried your best, that's absolutely fine. Well done. Now it's up to you. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> okay, are you sure that's the best plan? I'm asking you to take over the headmaster position. Please do what I only dreamt of doing. I've hidden a treasure somewhere on the school grounds. If you revive our school, that treasure is yours. Okay, that sounds very exciting. It also sounds a little bit like something a cat might do. Find a lovely treasure, go and dig a hole and bury it out in the garden somewhere, and then conceal it from everybody. That sounds like a very catty thing to do, I would say, but okay, yep, yeah, that sounds fine. We shall go and try and revive the school and get a lovely treasure. Okay, next up we have to get our headmaster sorted, and we're going to go for Betty Cupboard. Betty, you can go manage the school. I think you'll do a grand job, so there is Betty there, with a lovely shock of Geek Cupboard corporate blue hair. I do like that. In a kind of a fairly messy ponytail there at the back, because she's Betty. She's got better things to do than to faff about with her hair and make it look amazing. She's out there doing stuff and getting hands on and it's just hair and it's fine. So I quite like that. That looks very good. And in terms of her outfit, I've put her in this kind of sort of apron type thing because there are many other outfits, but I don't really think they kind of work with Betty. That's not very Betty-ish. That doesn't look very Betty. And then we've got these kind of uh, suits and things going on. They're not quite right either. And then that right at the end, I thought was quite good. So a t-shirt, that's fine, nice and functional. And then a kind of a work apron type thing. Maybe there's some paint splatters at the bottom. Are they some tools possibly in a pocket there? So I quite like that. That looks a little bit more sort of Betty-ish as though she's getting out there and doing some stuff and helping out because that's what Betty does. So there we go, Betty's ready to go. However, I just wanted to point out these things over here. So there are height sliders and weight sliders. And these things are amazing. These are wonderful. So at the moment, they're sort of in the middle. That's what we're going to have for Betty. However, 
if we just play with the height slider, if we just sort of shrink it down a bit, you can have somebody who's, you know, relatively short, I would say, or you can have somebody who is incredibly, incredibly tall. <laughs> but it's just the proportions just look very odd with this. It just looks very bizarre. And then put that down to the middle. And then weight wise, they can be sort of squished that way, or they can be sort of squashed out that way. And then you can sort of make them either teeny tiny or incredibly big. I quite like that. These are amazing. I mean, that is, that's some height there. I mean, that's the height of a fairly big looking shelf. I mean, they're as tall as the windows. We've got to make extra special big doors to get you through these. So I think what we'll do is we'll just put that down to there. But I mean, yeah, that's, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of bonkaloids, isn't it? Really? Look at it. It's so tall. They're just giant and huge. <laughs> but there we go. No, we're not going to have that for Betty. So there we go. Betty, you can be sort of middling height and middling weight. That's absolutely fine. And you've got everything ready to go. So here we go. Let's go and sort out the school name. And I think we as well sort out these sort of outfits for the kids as well. The school uniform stuff, which is fun. Okay. Yeah, we have to name the school, pick an emblem, and then we have to go and design the uniform for both the male and female students. Okay. That's fine. We can do that. However, look at the default name of the school. It's Cat School, which I just think reinforces the point that the previous headmaster was indeed a cat crammed into a suit and a hat. They were just a cat pretending to be a headmaster and somehow getting away with it for many, many years. I don't quite know what the story behind that is, but there we go. We're going to change it from Cat School. We'll change that logo emblem thing because that's a bit weird. And then we'll pick some lovely, lovely uniforms. Right, there we go. That's much better. So we're going to call our school Cupboard College. Nothing to do with cats at all. But yeah, I think Cupboard College sounds quite good. I know we have had Cupboard College before on the channel, maybe even a few times, but this can be in some sort of different Geek Cupboard multiverse or something. I don't know. But there we go. So we're going to call it Cupboard College. And then in terms of the actual little kind of emblem thing, I've gone for a hot pink background because that really stands out. That's going to look very good. And then we've got this kind of exciting sort of symbol in the background there with a little crown on the top. And the crown does seem to have pointy bits. And we all know that crowns with pointy bits are the best type of crown. So a nice crown with pointy bits and some kind of leafy, laurely type things. And then in the middle, we've got this kind of test tube beakery type thing there, some sort of sciencey thing. That was the only thing I could find that looked like any kind of liquid holding receptacle. There's quite a few things which we could have chosen, but there's nothing else which looks like it could hold tea. So effectively, that's holding some tea. I don't know, the yellow bit might be the tea and the blue bit might be the milk and you're just going to mix it together or something. So there we go. That's what the little emblem is going to be. And now in terms of the uniform, I've picked these. However, you can't change the colours, which is a bit of a shame. So you can pick the type of uniform. So we've gone for this kind of less sort of, less sort of formal style, shall we say. I mean, there are quite a lot of sort of formal ones. That's quite fun. I do quite like that. But I mean, some are quite formal. That looks quite formal. That looks a little bit sort of, you know, very sort of formal as well with a tie and a kind of a jumper on. That I think is a little bit less formal, a little bit more sort of laid back and relaxed. The only thing is you can't change the colours. I'd love to not have the green. I'd love it to be sort of, you know, proper geek of a corporate blues and yellows and things, but there's nowhere to change the colours. Maybe you can do that when you play the game. Maybe at some point we can unlock something which allows us to change the colours of the uniforms. I'm not quite sure, but that's what we're going to go for. And yeah, we've gone for the equivalent one for the female uniform as well. So it's yeah, the same sort of thing, the same style, but uh, yeah, we can't change the colours on that one either, which is a bit of a shame, but there we go, never mind. So I think we're ready. We can now open the doors to Cupboard College. Okay, doke, here we go, Rat Cupboard College. Betty has already met Ms. Lynn, who's our sort of helper assistant type person. And Ms. Lynn has very usefully shown us how to move the camera around and also how to look at different floors. And it turns out that we're amazing at moving the camera around and looking at different floors. So now she's given us a slightly more challenging thing to do, which is actually go and do some educational stuff, which I suppose we should try to learn about, given that we are a headmaster. So, okay, education goals. Hello, headmaster. Let me first introduce you to our goal. Okie doke, please do. Goal number one, we must first admit students from all the communities around us and satisfy their needs. Okay, so get students into the school. That's going to be helpful. Gotcha. Number two, have the students attend classes so that they gain knowledge points. Okay, again, basic kind of school concept. Put the kids in a room and tell them stuff so they can learn new things. Okie doke. Number three, throughout the week, teach the students so that they can pass the exam for their preferred course types at the end of the week. Okay, so there's going to be weekly exams going on. Number four, when the students pass the exams, the school gains contribution points, which can be used to further improve the school. 
Okay, so we're going to get these little kind of exciting contribution point bubble things dropping in. That could be quite fun. Okay, what's next? You can increase the school level by renovating the facilities, admitting new students and more. Please gain a higher score to up the level of the school. Let's aim to be the best. Okay, hang on a minute. Let's rein that in a little bit. Let's aim to not be the worst. I think that's a good solid starting point there. And then we'll try to get to the best at some other point. But let's just aim to not be the worst to begin with, shall we? I think that's a little bit more realistic. So, okay, what do you want us to do then? So here we go. Ah, Right, there's the wonderfully named Brick Johnson. Hello there, Brick Johnson. You're the building consultant. Okay, so the building is in a little bit of a state. Yeah, it's looking a bit like a dump. Let's tidy it up. So if we can, are we now playing? Is time moving on? Okay, hang on. Right, we're going to move time on. Oh, the game wants us to go and do some stuff first. Okay, well, hang on. We're going to have to wait to see if Spacebar is paused, everybody, because we're being tutorialed. Okay, so click the demolish button to remove facilities, furniture, and other objects. But if we take a look around, things really are in a bad way. I mean, that's, yeah, I'm all for kind of, yeah, air conditioning and airflow and stuff, but that's a little bit too kind of too much airflow going on around that room so that's definitely a bit broken and i mean that's got a bit of a hole in here the walls have got kind of big cracks in them it's not looking good it's in a bit of a state so okay so we need to remove facilities furniture and other objects okay so demolish all unused rooms i mean is that oh, yeah abandoned room okay so demolish that and i think we get some money back for that which is quite nice and then that one there as well Okay, right, there you go, Brick. We did it. We did the big job. I've never seen this place this clean and tidy before. Really? <laughs> Is this your first day here? We can now focus on our first day. Let's build a classroom. Okay, students should have their own classes and seats. Okie doke. Right, so now we need to build some stuff. Again, can we move time on? No. Oh, I kind of want to see if space bars pause. I'm fairly certain it is. Okay, so let's go and build a classroom. And that there looks like a perfect place for quite a big classroom. So, okay, we'll get one of those in, please. So what's that? Facility. Okie doke. So a classroom. Okay. <gasps> There's a tea room. Yeah, okay. We're going to put about a thousand of those in. It's going to be amazing. Um. Yeah, okay, right. So let's just drag that in. Build one classroom. 960 monies that's going to cost us. But we've got loads. So that's fine. Okay, now we have to put in all the bits and bobs that belong in this room. So we'll put the doors in because that's quite important. And then a blackboard that can go at that end of the room, I think, like so. And then we've got a podium. Okay, so that's where the teacher is going to stand and do the talking. We should possibly, hang on, hang on, rotate this round a bit. If we put that, um, yeah, if we put that there, look, then we could have, hang on, I think we put it there. I wouldn't mind moving the blackboard over one then. Can we move the blackboard over once it's done? Because otherwise people can't really see behind the teacher to see the blackboard because they're going to be in the way. Um, so what I'm thinking is, yeah, we put that there and there's a little bit of sort of nothing going on down this side where the students can walk in and walk along to their kind of desks and stuff. I think that's what we do. So let's put that there for now. And then we need student desks. And we are going to make sure that they are pointing in the right direction. Hang on. So that is definitely the right direction. Okay, so there's four there. So if we put... Oh, crikey, that's a good zoom. So put five in like that, and then another five, and then another five at the back. Can we do that? Right. So that's 15 seats. Okay, so now we can say we're done. But we're not done, game, because I want to move that over one. Hang on, can we just... Can we drag that over? There we go, look. There we go. So it's not right behind the sort of teacher now. That's quite good. Can we put anything else in here? Can we put some plants inside? <gasps> a oh, that's a lemon tree. But oh, we can put a lemon tree inside. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, we're having a lemon tree. Is there anything else we can put inside? Any other things? A standard appearance chart. What's a standard appearance chart? We've got really lovely flower bed type things. They're quite nice. A flag. A clock. Okay. Okay, when it says large clock, they're not messing around. That's that's the biggest clock in all the land. Okay, that's a bit crazy. A stone sphere? That's got to be outside, I think. Um, okay, do you know what? We'll have another lemon tree in that corner. Hang on. What about, like, bins and things? Have we not unlocked the concept of bins yet? Um, there's outdoor rubbish bins, sinks, simple cleaning supplies, and a small garbage bin. I mean, yeah, can we put, can we put a bin in the corner? That'll make sense. 
So we have a lovely tree over in that corner, a lovely plant, which we do like. And then over there, just, you know, don't drop your litter anywhere. Chuck it in the bin. Yeah, OK, I'm happy with that. Temperature, an ice tray. OK, security, a shabby fire alarm and some simple firefighting equipment and then light. Oh, yeah, do we need lights? I don't know if we need lights. You know, for now, we're just going to press OK. I'm getting a bit giddy with all the things. Um, Yeah, OK, we are done and that's fine. OK, this is Edison Liu. The school's teaching consultant. Okay, seems like you're ready to recruit some students. They're a school's foundation. Yeah, indeed. We're not going to do much without the students. Visit the local community to get started. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hello. There is Betty. I like the way we can see wherever Betty is because she's got the amazing hair. This is where the potential students of our community are gathered. There are a lot of children in this community who can start in our school soon. We can establish an admissions office here so that students may send in their applications. Okay, so how do we go about doing that? So this is Mudford. Okay, so view local students by clicking on that. So now we need to go to here and establish an admissions office. Okay, so yeah, we're going to say, do you know what? Yes, we'd like people from here to come and join our school, please. It's going to cost 900 money and we're going to get 16 applications per week which is quite good because we've got 15 seats in that classroom. So that's going to work out quite well. So, OK, so that's now open. OK, here we go. We've now got different students coming in. Um, I mean, yeah, do we have to student type? What's that then? Student type is family situation, very poor. OK, so we're taking on students from very poor families. OK, I like that. So meal packer brings pack food from home so food services demand is decreased and they're forgetful. They learn slower in humanities courses. Why hum Why only humanities courses? Because I can't remember historical kind of dates or such, I suppose. Um, okay, so aspirations. The Marina Heaven College of Marketing. Um, I don't know what those two things are. There's a green thing and a blue thing. Not sure what that is. Uh, exam completion reward per student. We get some money if they complete the exam. We get four humanities contribution points. Ah, they're the little kind of reward bubble things and four science ones. And then bonus reward for full marks on exam. We get more of those things. But I don't think we can choose anything else. So I think this is the kind of, these are the sort of students that we're going to have. Um, yeah, I can't click it and change it. Do you know what? Yeah, confirm. I'm going to press confirm. OK, so click Admit All. Uh, hang on, is it 16 people? Hang on, because we can't admit 16 people because we haven't got... I know, it's seven people. It's seven students. OK, so they're all going to bring their own meals, I think. Oh, no, hang on. They're not all going to bring their own meals. You, what's that? You're a game addict. You're exceptional at video games and you always carry a gaming console. You haven't got any traits. You pack your own meals. You're a gamer. OK. Right, do you know what? I think we'll get all these people in. Oh, yeah, there's our kind of contribution points up there, but it costs those to bring people in. Okay, admit all. That's given us a bit of a whack to our contribution points up there, but okay, it's time to assign new students to a classroom and pick a homeroom teacher. Okay, why is there a picture of a... Thi What's that? Why is there a picture of a deer? <laughs> okay, right, that's the classroom. Select class members. Okay. Right. Select all. So all seven people can go into this classroom because that's all we have right now. Okay. So they're all in there. Homeroom teachers are needed to manage students. Otherwise, the students will have disciplinary issues. Now assign a teacher to the class as their homeroom teacher. Okay. We don't have a teacher just yet. We're short on teachers right now. So how about you choose me to be the homeroom teacher? Okay, Ms. Lynn. Absolutely. In your pub. Are you good at that? I don't know. Okay, we'll find out, I suppose. Have a drink. Relax. Can we have tea? Class preparations are now complete. Let's unpause and let the school activities continue. During daylight hours, students and teachers will come to start a new day of life at school. Okay. Right, so come out of that for a second then. So click that button to start the time. And now we can, of course, answer the very important question. Is Spacebar pause? And yes, I can very happily confirm that spacebar is pause, which is wonderful stuff. Well done, game. Good job. Right, now let's unpause time again, because it's also unpause, which is good. So, what exactly is going to go on? So there we are. And there's there's Ms. Lynn. Okay, are we welcoming in the new student? We are. 
I mean, they're getting a little bit potentially almost run over, but there we go. They're running in. All seven students are coming in. Mudford might not be rich, but we will never lose to anyone when it comes to a thirst for knowledge. You are so good to us, Headmaster. Cubber College truly is the hope to change our lives. Have you actually walked into the building yet? Because you might be in for a bit of a surprise. <laughs> it, it's not exactly in a great state. Like that there is a bit broken. A crack in the wall. Can we demolish that? The furniture will be removed. I wouldn't say a crack in the wall is furniture, but okay. I mean, yeah, can we fix all that up? Can we do that? Um, it might be worth just fixing all the holes. Um, our students are all ready to learn. Let's plan out their brand new life at our school. Okay, can I just go and finish repairing things first? Hang on, right, pause. Oh, now the game's, we're back in tutorial land again. Okay, fine. Open course. Okay, I see what we're going to do now. These are the estimated exam results for the students in this class. You can make adjustments as needed. Okay, so at the moment, uh, we think they're all going to fail, which is wonderful. Yay. Okay. Headmaster's manual. Academics. There are four different types of courses. According to their aspirations, different students will need to gain knowledge points in the corresponding course types. For example, students with athletic aspirations will need sports courses, while those who want to learn robotics will need more science courses. Okay. That makes perfect sense. So they need to go and, you know, go and learn the things they want to then go and excel in. Make sure your course schedule matches the needs of the students in the class. Right, so they are all about humanities and science. Don't care about sport. Not bothered about the arts. Okie doke. Uh, the ex estimated exam results are displayed on the right of the course schedule. Hover over each student icon. See details for that student. Right, okay. So empty seats are there. And yeah, we've got all the estimated fails. Nobody's going to pass. Nobody's definitely going to get full marks. When you create the course schedule, pay attention to the estimated exam results. Try to make sure all the students are reaching pass marks. Okay, so I assume that they're all failing right now because we're not actually teaching them anything. They're coming in and sitting in the little sort of homeroom thing. They're sort of like form group or whatever, but they're not doing anything else. Okay, that's fine. We can work on this. Exams will be held every Friday. So, yeah, day five, I assume that. I assume day one is Monday. The students' grades will be determined by the knowledge points they have gained. Okie doke. Students who reach the weekly goal will win contribution points for the school. That would be lovely. After every exam, students will go up by year. After three exams, students will proceed to graduation. Students who pass their third exam could be accepted by their target institution. This will give the school more contribution points. Oh, and we saw that. We saw that, that people want to go to a particular place. Okay. Right, so oh, I want to go and look at these. Uh, next, schedule courses to ensure students are able to achieve the passing mark. Okay, so confirm that. Can we now hover over these? Okay, so yeah, they all want to go to the Marina Heaven College of Marketing. Every single person wants to go to the same place, which is good. And for that, yeah, they need humanities and they need science points. Drag the course you wish to schedule, then press or drag to add it to the schedule. Okay, so that one into there please so they're going to do some literature 101 on monday morning so they're going to go and meet that's fine and then they go and do that okay so now we need to kind of get this done so how about on that deck no hang on i want to put that there please there we go that's better so how about we have a bit of that on monday look so oh, we're teaching science are we okay um, yeah, we're on it, game. We're on it. It's all fine. So select the course we have to schedule. Okay. Oh, you can just click like that, can you? Okay. So we'll have, yeah, morning, morning sort of humanities, afternoon science on the first two days. And then how about we mix it up a bit with science, 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 humanities, and then humanities, 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 science, and then we'll have science, humanities, science, humanities. Oh, algebra. Hang on. Hang on. Algebra and literature fundamental. Okay, by that point, should they be really clever and they don't have to do basic stuff, they can do really advanced things. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. I'm sure the game will tell us. Excellent work. Thank you so much. I clicked those buttons very well. With this weekly schedule, the students should pass their exams this week. Don't forget to set up courses after future classrooms are created. Okay, so this is just for Classroom 1. Locked courses found in the schedule are new courses that have not been unlocked through research. Okay, so we might need to go and research Algebra and Literature Fundamentals, I imagine that's going to say, before the end of the week. Okay, that's fine. So now what is happening? Hang on, hang on. Can we pause time? Can we just go and get rid of all the damage? 
Can we go and get rid of all the broken things? There we go. Get rid of all the rubbishy things around the place because it does. It looks a little bit amateurish, doesn't it? There we go. I think we've sort. Hang on. There's some. There's some like regular bits of you know, detritus see nonsense around. So clear all that away. And all these things. Get if all of these can go. All of that can clear off. How are we looking over there? Is that building sort of intact? That is okay. Get rid of the pile of boxes. Get rid of all the crates and things and some pipes. Okay, that looks a little bang. Get rid of those. Don't need those. That's all just pointless. Okay. So I think we've got rid of all the holes in the walls and everything else. Right, wonderful. There we go. It looks a little bit less ramshackle now, which is good. So unpause time. So now they're going to... Ah, yeah. They, they We do need lights in there then. Hang on a second. <laughs> it's I think there are no lights. Um, how do we edit the room? Is it one of these? Edit, cl oh, edit class logo. Oh, that is at the class logo. Hang on a second. It is. Oh, so this is class. Hang on. So can we have class? Uh, we can have class angry rabbit. Class angry rabbit are this class here. But yeah, there's no lights. There aren't any lights. Um, how do we go about doing that? So build. I want to change. Where is that? Edit. Okay, into there. And yeah, lights. This is going to be helpful. Um incandescent top lamp or incandescent light uh, i mean how much light do these things you know, you know, produce i don't know we'll put one there and one there and one there and one there is that enough for you lot to see things because i imagine that's going to be quite helpful yay there we go right they can now see things we've got these massive lights which is brilliant okay so they're having their class meeting first we'll have a class meeting today Hand in your homework. <laughs> Discipline's been bad lately. They've only just started. It's literally day one. Keep the surroundings clean. Who's absent? It looks like everybody's here. Okay, you're just repeating the same. Stop telling discipline's been bad lately. Morale. Get morale up, please. Okay, so if we run time on a bit quicker. Hang on. Very quickly. So his topic is after that. I see. I see. Right, now they're doing some stuff. So it should now be changing on to whatever it is they were going to be learning. So, where are we? So, morning session's done. So, yeah, they're on Literature 101 right now, which sounds good. That sounds like a good thing. I mean, do we want to go and build something else? Do we want to go and do something else, or do we just wait for a while? Is that showing us how far they are through the lesson? I don't know. Oh, okay, right, hang on a minute. Hang on, 9.35. They've all cleared off. Um, oh, they're having a chat. Look, oh, that's quite... I want to meet new friends. Oh, they're making... So they're forming friendships. The weather is nice today. I want to go out and play. It'd be nice if we are on break now. I mean, you're not doing any work, that's for sure. Uh, okay, I want to go out and play. It would be nice if we were on break now. Shall we skip school? No, you shall not. You shall definitely not skip school. You ne'er do well. Where are you going? I thought you were going to go home. <laughs> I was like, no, you're not skipping school. Don't do that. Oh, the, the trees are pretty. I like that. Is that a Sakura tree? I think it might be. Okay, right. So learning is going on. I like how they've kind of got bags that you can sort of hang off the side of the desk. There must be like a hook or something there. And they can hang their bag off the side of the desk. So they can reach things easily if they need to go and grab some stuff. That's quite good. So I assume now we just wait for teaching to happen. They're doing some science, are they? No, no, they're not. They're still doing Literature 101, even though Period 2 is in blue, which I think was the science colour, but okay. School Lifestyle. Hello, Headmaster. I am Miss Sweets. You sound fantastic. The school's lifestyle consultant. The students request a tea room. Done. Done. So they made drinking water from a tea room. I think we can do better than that, Miss Sweets. We can give them, you know, tea from the tea room. You should do your best to satisfy all requests to ensure a good quality of life. No, 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 no. Right, pause time. Build and keep tea room operating. We're not going to just have water from the tea room because that's a bit ridiculous. Um, ideally, I'd like to... I don't mind that bit there. We'll make that a nice sort of corridor bit. But we need this kind of expanding back a little bit. Can we build foundations just yet? Buildings. So yeah, wooden structure. Okay, so if we went in and just kind of did a bit like that, and then a bit like that, is that okay? Can, can you do that for us? And then we can put the tea room thing there. And then if we need to, we can have a corridor sort of running along here or something. Um, yeah, can we do that? So, okay. So confirm that. Unpause time. 
and we can just leave we can leave this running for a bit the students can do their learning it's all fine we'll get a tea room in a second hang on we're doing some important building work um it's quite slow it's quite slow to get that done but yeah they're getting there they're working i don't know who's working on it it'll be brick builderson or whatever he was called it'll be that guy hang on a minute there's some things demolish that and demolish that give us some money back okay perfect that's much better so now build as a tea room this is glorious okay 16 squares it's got to be at least so that's four that's about right we'll make it one tiny bit bigger like that because we want a nice big tea room okay we'll put that in like that and now we need a hot water flask and a hot water station a cup rack and drinking water this is where's the tea where is the tea making equipment? That's what we want. Right, hot water flask. Um, I mean, do we just put them at the end? And a hot water station and a cup rack. Okay, so put... Can we have another cup rack and put it on the wall just there? Um, and then have the same kind of arrangement on this side. So have a bit like that and a thing like that. And then put... No, not that. And then a cup rack on the wall just there and then of course get ourselves a lovely plant to go in the room like that can we can we okay that is that good are we happy with this it's not enough tea you built the tea room there's no tea finally students can quench their thirst hydration is very important it is i'm with you on that but tea is also very important where's my tea how do you make a tea it says hot water that is open so maybe yeah when it gets to recess which is like break time maybe We'll see them run into there and enjoy some hot water. School satisfaction decreased to medium. Okay, maybe now in here, look, they're going to have a lovely time. Because, yeah, they're, they're there just you know, drinking that hot water. Nature calls. The students need toilets. Please hurry. Okay, pause time for a second. Yes, a toilet arrangement would be quite good. Um, I think we've already got headmaster office. That's over at the back, isn't it? I think that's the headmaster office. So, yeah, we've got the... Yeah, so the yeah, women's and men's uh, lose. Where are we going to put these? I think, again, we need to do some building over here. So I quite I want that to be like a corridor bit going through the middle. So if we need to get back around here, because we could build a little bit over there if we wanted to, we could have like a classroom there or something. So I think, hang on, come out, come, no, not that, come away, uh, get rid of that. Edit can, yeah, don't do any editing, that's fine. So facility. So women's room, so we could say have a toilet. How big do they need to be? So if we just said that for the ladies for now, and then the men's we could just make, if we just sort of even that up a bit, we could put the men's there. So, okay, so we'll have the loo, the door there, sorry. And then we could have, yeah, rotate that. Oh no, hang on a minute. Rotate is those buttons, not what I just pressed. So then we've got some cubicles. So, okay, so we have a loo there and a loo there and a loo there. Um, are there not sinks? Do we not have sinks? Hygiene. Um, a simple sink. Yeah, there you go, for washing hands. That's probably quite an important thing. So we'll have a sink and a sink. And then in the corner... Um, okay, what we're going to do is... In the corner here, we're going to have a bin. And then in the corner at the top end, we're going to have a plant. Because we have to have a plant. Okay, right, I'm quite happy with that. So we've got one loo sorted out. And then if we just build... Do you know what? Let's build a big, chunky bit of school out like that, look. If we build that out like that, we can then... We don't have to kind of go, oh no, we've not got room to build the thing. We can just go, yep, there we go, wonderful. Right, so okay work on that and the, the the chaps might have to wait for a while to get to the toilet but that's okay our builders are going to be on this super quickly they're going to build this in a super speedy lightning way um yeah not enough men's room yeah we're on that and oh five student applications hang on do we want to admit all of you good student charlene martin is a good student that's what we want to see um if we admit all of you so they can come in, but then yeah, do we put them into here? So hang on, how do we, how do we do that staff? Ah, okay, down here are all the students. So how do we add all the other ones? Where, where is the bit where we add the students in? I can see they're the class members. 
Exploration view, stats, knowledge, status. How do we add more people into here? Let me just jab enough buttons and see if I can figure out how that works exactly. Okay, we've got the five people here who aren't assigned to a class. If we select all of them and then put assign, ah, there we go, assign them to class one. So that means that's gonna go up to 12 out of 15, but that's okay. So they are going to be down a day of teaching. I think yeah, if we do that, we can see that yeah, they've missed the class meeting in the morning and then two lots of Literature 101 and then they've missed out on some algebra and then maybe they're going to miss out on some sciences as well. Though I didn't think we knew how to teach algebra. So, okay, that's a th it says we can't do that, but we taught it. I don't fully understand, but okay, right, that's fine. So hopefully that's going to be good enough for them. Um, what's that? Estimated exam failures. Insufficient proficiency, locked course. Oh, okay, hang on. I'm going to press that button again. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Estimated exam results. We have to move time on a bit for them to then calculate this. Um, because, yeah, they're not in here at the minute. Why are the other... Hang on. Estimated passes one. Estimated fails one. Where are the other people? Hang on. Four students not assigned to a class. Oh. Oh, hang on. But I picked select all, but we have to do it. Oh, okay, right, I, see. I thought that moved everybody, but no, clearly not. Okay, right, that's fine. <laughs> that's a bit weird. That's a bit strange. Uh, right, they're all in now. So the 12, three might fail, and nine might pass. I'm okay with that. That's okay. I'm pretty happy with that arrangement. Okay, right, so get time moving on. Get this building work done, please. Because we do need to get some lose in for the, for the boys. Because they're going to be yeah, in a bit of discomfort. So here we go. Let's go and get this set up. So we shall have the men's room, which is going to be exactly the same like that. And we'll put the door in like that. And then we'll make it exactly the same as the um, as the girls one. So three like that. And then hang on a second. Hygiene. So, yeah, sink and sink and a bin. And, of course, the obligatory plant. It's a lemon tree. That's lovely. Right. Okay. They've now got Lewis, which is wonderful. The new students seem to be rather weak in humanities. Let's check on them. First, stop the clock so we can better focus on this task. Okay, we've done that game. We've done that. Right, find and check the overview of a forgetful student. So you. So hello. How are you? So Vicky Gomez is a forgetful student. So check the student's traits here. So they bring their own sort of uh, packed lunch. That's okay. And they're forgetful. So they learn slower in humanities courses. With poor memory, they are slow at learning humanities courses. Okie doke, that's a bit of a shame. Now let's check on the schedule. Okay, let's open the course. The student is unable to achieve their major goal, which is to pass their exam, is that right? Um, increase a teacher's proficiency through training. Okay, so how do we do that exactly? Just says increase it through training. So, oh, here we go. Right, training. Click here to start training. Right, is that the only way we can get to that? It seems a bit weird, but okay, right. So go into there. So we want them to be better at teaching. So yes, so she can be better at teaching for 500 minutes. For three hours and five minutes, she's going to clear off and just do some training. What are the kids going to do? <laughs> okay, fine. So she can go and do that because Mr. whatever his name was is telling us to do that. So after some time, the teacher's proficiency will increase. So where is... That is Ms. Lynn, isn't it? So she's now... Crikey's. Okay, when it when time goes quick, it genuinely does go quite quick. So, um, okay, yeah, it said that she was taking a stroll. So she's just sort of wandering about. Now she's back over here, look. So she is doing some form of teaching. Or is she not? Are they all just getting... Like the afternoon... Oh, hang on. A thing has appeared. Hello. What's happening here? What is this? Okay, hang on. There's a thing. Secretly gaming. Some students are secretly playing a video game. Okay, that's probably fine, isn't it? That's all right. Cr crack on. I'm, I'm, I'm not secretly playing a video game. I'm brazenly playing a video game. Teacher assigned. Um, okay, Betty cupboard on my way. <laughs> so Betty's found out about game club. Uh, come on, come on, take it out. Are they playing games? So right, and we're going to tell them. Up. Stop, says Betty. I'm sorry, says that student there. Don't do it again. I won't. Are they wearing not the uniform? Who are you? Why are you not wearing the right uniform? Um, yeah, you're wearing a slightly different uniform to everybody else. Uh, that's a bit weird. 
Okay. I did my... Yeah, why aren't you wearing the proper corporate attire? You're not wearing the right clothing. I'm nervous about the new semester. I want to do something else. Okay, I think everyone's going home. Because it's after school. Okay, I deeply understand the value of education to the children. Your school has given me the urge to contribute a little something to our educators. Here's a token of my appreciation. We've been given 3,000 of the monies by this chappy on behalf of the community. That's really wonderful. Thank you so much. That's very exciting. Okay, that's good. That's good news. A little bit more money is going to be no bad thing. Students heading home. The first day of school is about to end. Have you gotten used to the school yet? Not overly, if I'm honest, but we'll muddle through. Let's work hard and be the best school ever. Why do you want to be the best school ever? <laughs> Can't we just be okay first and then eventually get to that point? But okay, fine. We'll try not to be the worst school around. That's, yeah, again, a more reasonable goal, I feel. Ah, right, okay, gets to night time and we just fly through until the next day. Okay, wonderful, that's very quick. Right, so pre-class at seven o'clock in the morning. What happens here then? So have we got anything kind of scheduled for that? Oh, there's a sign outside with a name on it. That's exciting, Cupboard College. And there it is, I can't quite tell the camera, but there it is in the background. Oh, that's exciting, I like that. Got a proper official sign. Right, I think we get a little bit of money each day they come in. And the training course for Ms. Lin is complete. Okay, confirm that. So hopefully she can now be a little bit better at teaching humanities. Well, and science as well. But these all the forgetful people struggle with the whole humanities side of things. So hopefully that's going to help out quite a bit. Let's run time on quick until we actually get some stuff underway. The problem with that might be the locked course, possibly. It might be the algebra that we can't teach. Because um, oh, that's gone away now. That warning has sort of disappeared. That's fine. Okay, so now we're doing some Literature 101 down in that class. And they're all learning new exciting things. This is good. This is good. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? Headmaster, Headmaster, I have something I need to say. Someone is initiating some demand. Yeah, they're jumping up and down. Okay, what would you like? I'm starving, Headmaster. Is there anywhere I can buy some food? I see. We're asking for a food tent. You'll need to research that first. Okay. How do I do research game? Um, yeah, they're all getting a bit hungry. So we need a food tent. Is that research? Management. Um, what's, well, I don't know what this is. How do we do research? Headmaster's inventory? We've got, oh, new courses, new facilities, new furniture, etc. Can be unlocked through research. You must first build a research room and assign a teacher to conduct research during work hours. Okay, so not really a teacher. They're a researcher, but okay. Um, hang on. We've got... Three video game consoles. The latest Kony Portal game console that contains a lot of popular games. It doesn't look like a Kony to me. And we've got a cat egg. Hatch this for a cat. And a panda egg. Hatch this for a panda. Um, okay. Can hatch this for a panda. Use panda egg. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to press this and see what happens. I'm not fully sure. Are we just going to grow a panda? Right. We've got Smiley the Panda. And you're just... Hang on, unpause type. Oh, put it on to normal speed. You're just going to sort of hang around, are you? Okay. <laughs> can we do this with the cat? Can we Can we have ourselves a cat as well? A cat and a panda. Uh, we'll put the cat next to the panda. Right, so what's the cat going to be called? And the cat is called Muffin. Okay, so we've got Smiley and Muffin. Say hello to Smiley and Muffin, everybody. For some reason, we were carrying around... Cat eggs and panda eggs. I don't think that's how that works. Are we sure we're doing the right thing teaching children these things? Because that's not how those animals come to be. I'm fairly sure, but okay. <laughs> right, so we haven't got any panda eggs or cat eggs anymore. Um, what were we doing? Oh yeah, research stuff. Build and keep research room operating. Hang on then, right. So a research room is there. Okay, so where are we going to put this? It's got to be 18 squares... Oh, okay, that's actually not that big when you think about it. That's actually okay. That's plausible. Um, I mean, maybe... Where could that go? We do want a corridor sort of down here, I think. So could we have it... The corridor of two wide is pretty good. What about that? Hang on. That's... How big's that? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. If we just make it like that, so it's opposite the lose, that's okay, isn't it? Uh, we'll pop the door in on that side that'll do and then we've got just various things in here okay so research a desk and a planning board okay um how about we have that 
just there. I want to move the desk, actually. And then a research seat. What I'd like to do is I'd like to, if we could, can we have that there? Um, hang on. And then can we pick that up? Grab that. And then move... No, that's not the right button. Hang on a minute. Like that. Put that there. So people walk in and they can see the research that's going on. Um, and then we've got room for other things as well. We can have another kind of setup over there. And hang on a second. Let's put that by the... Let's put that by that, look. So they can look over and see that as well. Okay, right. So research room is done. And now we need to get a researcher. They're experts in every field. Research test the teacher's research proficiency. We can recruit a new teacher to take on the research role. Okay, so we want to make sure we get a researchy teacher in. Okay, so how do we do that? How do we get new teachers? Uh, search. Okay. Do we need to recruit new people? Oh, hang on. It's telling me in the corner. I didn't see that down there. Hang on. Click on the recruits tab. Okie doke. Staff recruitment. And when you see someone you like, tap recruit. Okay, so research is the magnifying glass. Yeah, Oliver Curie, science teacher, is also the best at doing research. So we will have you. Thank you very much. And then we will assign you into there. Okay, yeah, teachers are important. Yeah, I get that. The school can't do much without a teacher. Oh, crikey. Yep, okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to assign him, but you keep jumping in. Hang on a minute. Boop. Into there you go. Chief researcher is in. And, okay, we're going to start the food tent research. To begin research, select a research goal. Okay, ah, there's a new button. There we go. There's a new button. So a food tent. It's going to take 0.9 days for us to work out how to unlock the concept of eating food in a building. Okay, it started. However, at least one person is required to work in the research room. The more researchers you have working, the sooner the research will be completed. Okay, I kind of get that. That's fine. That's okay. So we need more and people are hungry. Okay, so if we run time on pretty quick, hopefully Oliver What's-His-Name can come into here and start doing some research. And that means he's immediately come in and gone to the loo. And now he's just wandering about. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> That's, because... <laughs> That's because there's a panda on his desk. <laughs> That is going to stop his work, isn't it? I mean, if it was the cat, that wouldn't be so bad. If it was the cat, it would be okay. You could sort of shoo the cat. A panda on your desk is potentially a bit of a bother. Okay. <laughs> That's very silly. Right. I, I can see why he's not doing any research. If you want to build a first class school, you can work hard in many future directions. Let's work hard for the future. Okay. Right. That's fine. Um, select development target. What kind of headmaster do you want to be? Select your victory goal. Oh, I want to educate the best of the best. I want students from all over. <gasps> I want to build the most beautiful school. Oh, it, I, I, I'm not bothered about students from all over. That's fine. We'll just do that anyway. That shouldn't be our objective. That should just be a standard thing. Um, either be really, really good at educating the students which requires us to you know, be quite good at doing school stuff and getting all the scheduling right. Or just have a really amazing building. We're going for that. I want to build the most beautiful school. That sounds fantastic. Nice choice. Let's dedicate ourselves to this goal of ours. I'm trying. Have you seen the amount of lemon trees there are? Now you have a goal in mind. Let's see what needs to be done. Click on school level. Okay, click on victory goal. Crikey, there's stuff everywhere. Click on focus. Uh, click to focus on this goal to easily keep track of its progress. Okay, so we need to achieve 8,000 crikey. Okay, we can check the completion progress of our victory goal here. You can also select a different goal to focus on at any moment. Okay, so we want to get 8,000 total building score. Build any basic wonder. Achieve 5,500 total building score. Oh, hang on, it's going up in... Oh, right, okay, so stage one, get 1,500 total building score, then get 3,000, then get 5,500, then get 8,000, and build a wonder. Build a wonder of the world for our school. Okay. <laughs> right you are, game. Okay, we're gonna, we're struggling with some slight panda issues right now, because there is a panda on the research table, uh, which means we can't unlock any kind of food stuff. Need more researchers or the construction of a research room. Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on, the panda's gone. The panda's gone. And it used the doors, which is nice. Right, you can come back now. You can come back. Please go and do some more research. <laughs> the panda's gone. You can sit at your desk again. It's all going to be fine. He's walking it. Oh, it's it's dark. 
I keep forgetting to put lights in all the rooms. Hang on, let me just go and throw some lights around the place. Hang on. There we go. Lights in there and also lights in the loos and lights in the tea room as well because I forgot about those. So now hopefully they should be able to get on with research because now there's no panda on his desk and he can also see what's going on, which is quite helpful. Okay, right. I like that. That's good. I would like to get the food done before we wrap things up for this part, because we are going to have a series of this. We're going to have a lovely series of Let's School, because really, we've only got, what, one class in right now. So there's a lot to do. So we are going to come back to this, but I do want to get the whole food tent thing in first. I think we can't leave it with no food in the school, because that would be a bit silly. So run time one nice and quick. Hopefully this lot are doing some good learning as well. Can we go and check? Does the panda help or hinder, I wonder? As the number of facilities grows, we'll run out of space. If you need more space, we can hire the contractors to expand our outer wall. Okay. Is that just making the thing bigger? Because we've done that already. Build six squares of... Of what? Build six squares of outer wall. I shouldn't... Oh, hang on. There's a thing we need to worry about. Oh, people are gaming again. Um, okay. Uh, Ms. Lin is idle. Betty, you go and deal with that. You can go and sort that out, please. I mean, if you're going to do some secret gaming, don't do it in the school. <laughs> go and do it over there, behind a tree or something. Why are you doing it there, you silly people? Okay, never mind. They're doing that badly, but not to worry. Um, hang on, one case of... Oh, yeah, there we go. We're sorting that out. Uh, three student applications. We could get them in, and that will be the 15 students we can have right now. I think we do that. So admit them, and then go down to here... And yeah, you can go into class one, you can go into that one, you can go into the angry bunny class. Okay, so now that class is full. That's okay. So 15 out of 15 students are in that class. That's all we can have right now. Oh no. <laughs> There's a panda. There's a panda there. Oh, and is that the cat as well? Um, No, that... What is that? That's... St that's Stacy... Ro Hang on a minute. Stacy Roberts is part human and part desk, it seems. Hang on, what? Are you... Are you trapped because of the panda? Was the... <laughs> it's so soft. <laughs> Poor Stacey Roberts is stuck. She's been trapped there. Please help. <laughs> there you go. Right, she can get out now. Right, so the panda does actually interfere. The panda does sort of get in the way of things. Right, we're going to go and tell that lot off. Stop it, you lot. Stop. I'm sorry. And away it goes. Don't do it again. I won't. I mean, surely. We didn't give him his game console back, did we? Wow, okay, right, he's got lots of money to buy another one. Wonderful. Um, how are we doing with the whole research thing? Are you doing okay? 40% of the way through. Come on, hurry up. Wow and ha ha ha, they're saying. Can we see how well they're doing? Can we see how well they're doing now? Where was the... Where was the thing? There, that's what we're looking at. Um, oh, they're all now going to pass. The estimated pass is every single person. Oh, that's very good. Um, yeah, they're doing pretty well. I mean, right now it's not looking good because they haven't done much in the way of science. So science, they're pretty low. But yeah, look, they've got 8 out of the 21 points for, uh, like, literature, humanities, or whatever it is. And 4 out of the 21 for science. But they've got two science sessions coming up. So that'll boost that back up a bit. Okay, yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, while they do that, then, we'll let time tick on. Uh, we'll just do that. We'll expand the outer wall again. We'll do some more building. I don't quite know where we should build. How about here? Just over here, look. That might be a useful space for something that we could have there. So, yeah, we'll expand that a little bit with some more floor bits. Okay, no pressure, Mr. Researchy Man, but we do have quite a lot of very, very hungry students. So if you could hurry up and just unlock the secrets of the food tent... That'd be wonderful. That's a panda. Again, no, we no this. Okay, right. We might need another desk in here. And um, okay, he's now just really, really closely admiring the lemon tree that we've put in there. Um, either, either he's enjoying it a bit too much, or he's hiding from the panda. Maybe he's hiding from the panda in there. Maybe he's got like panda phobia or something, and he's hiding away from the panda, thinking, do you know what? I'm going to hide in this tree until the panda goes away. I think what we need to do is. <laughs> Because the panda does like sitting on that desk quite a lot. I think we might need to get another one of these in. Um, hang on. A chief, oh, chief researcher desk. Um, hang on. Why can't we have that? A research desk. Oh, we can only have one. Can we only have one of those? Oh, botherations. Okay, we can have multiple researcher desks. But he's the chief researcher and he has that for himself. Okay. Um, can we put... 
Oh, hang on. We can put more exciting things around. Can we put that uh, over in that corner? And then can we have a filing cabinet? Like an exciting researching filing cabinet thing? Uh, we'll have one there. We'll have one there. Okay, that room just did some wibbly stuff. Has that room leveled up in some way? It's reached two stars. And I think what we might do is as well. Let's go to here. Let's recruit another researchy person. So we can at least get some research done. So who have we got? Joey Young, science teacher, research of nine. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So do you know what? We'll recruit you for a bit of money because we've got a big pile of cash. That's okay. And um, yeah, you can go into there. So we've got the chief researcher of Oliver, but then the other person who is it, Joey Young, you can go into there. So you can help out a bit because currently there's a panda on there. So, okay, right. Unpause time. Make sure that new chappy comes in. In fact, is it the end of the day? No, it's not the end of the day. Okay, so new chappy has now arrived and immediately... They've gone to the loo as well. They must come from far away. <laughs> Go to the loo before you leave. Uh, right, the panda's gone. Quickly, <laughs> do the research. Now I've got two people researching and there we go. The food tent research is now done. Setting up an outside tent to sell food can not only alleviate hunger, but also generate income for the school. Okay, right. So continue research. What do we now go for? Because we have got, I mean, it's under three different bits. We've got lifestyle, education, and management. Okay, hang on. Education, junior science course. Ah, algebra. We need to do that because we're trying to teach algebra and we don't know quite how just yet. So, okay, we'll have a bit of that, please. So that's going to start. It's going to be 0 0.7 days. That'll be done before the end of the week, which is good. And now we need to build the food tent. Okay, right. This is good. So where do you want to put the food tent? I mean, I'm thinking in that gap there might be quite a good idea. Where is the food tent? There it is. So facility to, uh, for the school to provide simple lunches. So it can't go inside. Okay, this is unexpected, but okay. I mean, if we do put it in that little gap there, if we just sort of bring that in like that. Okay, so the food tent goes in the middle. In fact, if we put the food tent to the side and then we can have sort of dining tables down here. This is unexpected, but okay. We'll have one and two and three and four and five and six. And so, so many tables. And then what else can we have out here? Pile of materials for food tent. Uh, okay, if we put that, I don't know, next to the food tent. Might just help out a little bit. Um, and then can we put some lovely kind of... Hang on. Can we have a fountain? A fountain at that end. If we get three more point thingamajigs, we might get a little upgrade to our room. That'd be quite good. A stone sphere. Do you want one of those? A That's enormous. That, weirdly, that isn't enormous. The stone lion isn't enormous. What gives us plus three? That's plus two. Hang on. Yeah, want the kind of pink star thing with jigs. That's nature. A school flag. That's, again, a bit huge. The large clock is large. A stone sphere will do the job. That'll get us up to a level two thing. Do you know what? Yeah, okay. We'll accept that. And then assign products to sell. Okay. Charcoal bun or one meal or one meat, two veggie combo. That one. That seems like a better thing. Okay, so we're done with that. And then assign a nutritionist to the food tent. Okay. How do we... What are we looking for with a nutritionist? Uh, I don't know what we look for with one of those. What? Which thing do we care about for a nutritionist? Oh, I think it might be the management skill. There is a management status thing on there and that little icon, whatever that is. I can't work out what that is. I'm not quite sure what that icon is supposed to represent, but whatever that might be is over here. Look, so we want somebody with a high management stat. And I think Ernest White has got the highest one. So he's got 10 and then it's six, six and nine. OK, so let's get you. Let's get Ernest White in. So we'll recruit you and then can we then put you into that? So Ernest White is idle. So you go over into that. There you go. So yeah, you're now working as a nutritionist. OK, so food tent done. So are we now going to see people come over here and get a little bite to eat? Okay, pause. Hang on. No, don't put Tom onto regular speed. I was going to say, yeah, let's just have things going normally. So I imagine, are they going to stop off at their break? No, you had a look at that thing. And then, oh, look, yeah, they're getting some stuff. 
Although we haven't got the nutritionalist in quite yet, so they're just sort of helping themselves at the minute. Can we not possibly get our person in? <laughs> Where's our person? There they are. Is that them? Bit of a casual stroll over. And yeah, Ernest White just, just strutting in to do their job. Okay, right, there we go, look. So we're now... Oh yeah, we made a bit of money as well. That's wonderful. What does that mean over their heads? A kind of a weird thing when boop, boop, boop over the head. No lunchbox holder in class. A lunchbox holder? Okay, hang on. Is that a new thing we can now build? Hang on, edit. Um, oh yeah, a lunchbox holder. Shabby desk, shabby podium, shabby blackboard, but lunchbox holder. Um, I mean, yeah, okay. Do we pop it onto the wall? Let's get, oh no, one on either side of the wall. So one there and one there. Okay, that's quite good, isn't it? Okay, so okay that. Are they going to use that now? Are they going to run over and start hanging up lunch boxes on the wall? They look, they have. Make sure the panda doesn't eat them. But look, they're hanging things up. I mean, yeah, there's only 10, there's 10 spots. Okay, we need another one of those. We have to get another one because there are 15 students. So in theory, on one day, there could be 15 sort of packed lunches to have. So if we put that there, look, and then, okay, that, that means that everybody should be able to hang their packed lunch up even if every single student brings in their own lunch that should be enough room to hang everything okay that's wonderful that's very good right so i think with that done we will pause time for now let's have a quick check of that so yeah we're at the end of we're at the end of day two in fact do you know what we'll do do you know what we'll do we'll fly through to the beginning of day three so we'll get through to wednesday morning and then we'll see what the game has for us. But yeah, if we just sort of get the after school bit done, I imagine at some point we can have like after school activities and such, but it's okay right now. The panda is back on the research desk again. <laughs> it loves that research desk, does our panda, which is good. Right, so fly through the night time. Here we go, evening and through to the morning. And then we'll pause time right now. And we will finish things up for now. But yeah, we're going to come back to this. We're absolutely having a little series of this because it's really good. I do like it. And we're only just getting started. I mean, we've only just unlocked some very basic things of, you know, how to do food, how to sort of serve food from a little kind of outside food tent thing. Um, oh, actually, hang on. How's our research here? And yeah, we're 31% of the way through getting the kind of fancy science research done. So yeah, we're sort of yeah, only really getting started, I would say. We've got no janitors or anything. Nobody can go and clean anything. So yeah, there is work to be done. So we're definitely coming back to this. We are going to have a series of this, which is all very exciting because I do like a game like this. I do like a nice sort of uh, nice sort of uh, buildery game like this. And of course, yeah, we've got all the extra bits and bobs to research and... We have a panda. We have a panda, and it's a mischievous panda, I would say. It's a troublesome panda, so that's going to be fun as well. What will the panda get up to next time, and how many times will it interrupt research by sitting on the research desk? It's a question we can find out when we come back to Let's School. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on in next time out in Let's School. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, this is just not your day, is it? Sean Pozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.